Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I will be sharing what I eat in a day. So today my husband is not in the town because of some office work. So I'll be cooking only for myself today. So on these days, I try to keep the recipe simple and I try to batch cook so that I don't uh, keep cooking all the day. So the recipes are really simple and I hope this will be useful for you people. So yes, let's quickly get into the video. For breakfast, I decided to make egg sandwich which is like super easy to make. So I'm starting it with boiling the eggs. I have like took two eggs and I'm gonna put it in a vessel and boil it for straight 8 or 10 minutes. So on the other hand, I need some onion and chilies to go with. So I'm gonna chop them. This recipe doesn't take much time and this tastes amazing. You need to give it a try. I'm sure you guys will love it. I usually start my mornings with a warm drink uh, with a piece of lemon in it or uh, some chia seeds, something like that. But today I didn't feel like having anything so I just uh, had plain water. And here eggs are perfectly boiled I think so I'm gonna turn off the heat. And I left the eggs in the cool water so that it will be more easier to remove the cells. And this is one of my favorite job to do when I'm making egg sandwiches. And next in a bowl, I am going to take the eggs and uh, chop them very roughly. We can also grate the eggs or uh, simply we can use a fork and uh, uh, mash it a little bit very roughly. But I like it this way. Sandwiches are like my go-to recipes. I love sandwiches. I can like have it anytime. I can have it daily without getting bored. So this is for the filling of the sandwiches. So once we are done with chopping eggs, next I'm gonna add in chopped onions and green chilies and half tablespoon of black pepper. Next, I'm going to add in salt and some red chili flakes and oregano. According to your taste, you guys can like alter the seasoning. And next, I'm going to add two spoons of mayo to this. And that is it. I'm gonna mix everything together now. And at this point, uh, you guys can also add coriander leaf. But I am running out of them, so I'm not gonna use them in recipes today. So next, I'm gonna take uh, bread slices. Uh, here I'm using brown bread. You guys can like uh, take any bread. And uh, I'm gonna put all the filling on top of the bread. Put the generous amount of filling so that it tastes amazing. And here the tawa is hot so I'm gonna place the sandwiches on the tawa and I'm using ghee for the uh, greasing. So just it takes two minutes to slightly toast it. Once it changes the color, we need to take it out. So yes, our super easy and delicious egg sandwiches are ready. Look at this, this looks yum. 
so today i feel like having some uh, drink with it so i decided to make uh, banana milkshake so for that in a jar i'm adding one banana and uh, one tablespoon of chia seeds and then i'm adding jaggery powder here two spoons of jaggery powder you guys can also add sugar and some milk so the milk is very thick so i'm going to add little water to this and my banana shake is also ready i'm going to pour it in a glass and then i'm going to plate all the sandwiches and my breakfast is ready to go and for lunch i have soaked some uh, black chana and uh, now i'm putting it in a pressure cooker and i'm going to boil it for 10 to 15 minutes i have decided to make uh, black chana curry and rice with some raita and on the other hand i'm going to take some rice in the other pressure cooker and i'm going to wash it and keep it on the gas stove to cook and here to make the curry i need uh, two onions and two tomatoes and i'm going to uh, chop them with this chopper so i roughly chopped the onions i'm going to add it to the chopper this chopper makes the work really easy on the other days i mostly like roast all the onions and uh, tomato and then make a paste out of it uh, but today i'm just cooking for myself so i'm just going to chop it very fine and add it into the curry even that tastes really amazing and look at this within no time this is how finely it is chopped next i'm going to do the same with the tomatoes as well Now here chana is completely boiled and rice is also done so I'm going to turn off the heat and on the other stove I'm going to uh, keep the kadai and pour in the oil and these are the whole spices I'm going to add in the oil once the oil is hot and some jeera once it start to crackle I'm going to go ahead and add in the chopped onions saute it a little bit and i'm going to add two chili at this point once there is a slight change in color i'm going to go in and add the ginger garlic paste again saute it and after some time i'm going to go ahead and add all the chopped tomatoes and mix it completely And next I'm going to add all the spices like salt, turmeric powder, red chili powder and some chana masala. Give everything a good mix and let this fry for a few minutes and after some time I'm going to uh, go ahead and add some uh, curd. You guys can skip it if you don't want to. So the masala is perfectly done now. So at this point I'm going to add all the boiled chana and some salt to it. And again I'm going to give a good mix to everything. And now I'm adding the water left in the cooker and also adding some extra hot water. I'm adding hot water because it reduces the cooking time. And just mix everything and I will allow this to cook for another 10 minutes. So here for raita I have grated a half a carrot, some onion, cucumber and green chili. So in a bowl I'm going to add everything, onion, cucumber and grated carrot. and green chilies and next i'm going to add in the curd 
आई ऑल्सो एडेड सम सॉल्ट एंड जीरा पाउडर टू दिस बट वो क्लिप पता नहीं कहीं पे मिस हो गया है सो मेक श्योर टू एड दैट एज वेल एंड यर करी इज ऑल्सो कम्प्लीटली डन सो आई एम गोन टर्न ऑफ द हीट and with that my simple and easy lunch is also ready i'm going to put everything in a plate and take this to table and enjoy my lunch For dinner, I have decided to make paneer paratha. So this is homemade paneer which I made yesterday and kept it in fridge. Now in a bowl, I'm gonna scramble all the paneer with my hand. So this is perfectly done now. Next, I'm gonna chop some onion and tomatoes. Uh, most of the days what i do i simply grate the paneer and then i will add in all this uh, chili and uh, uh, onion seasoning everything but today i'm going to make it like a burji and then i will uh, put the filling and make paratha so for that i'm going to take a pan and i will add in some oil and some jeera seeds and then i'll drop in all the onions give it a good mix once it's little fried then i'll go ahead and add the tomatoes next i'll add all the seasoning like salt and uh, chili powder and some garam masala this is it and i'm going to mix everything together and then i'll drop in the paneer and mix everything So yes this is it this is how it looks and at this point we can add chopped coriander's but as i told before i don't have them right now so i will just transfer this in a bowl and allow this to rest for some time and next my dough is ready to make parathas so i'm just going to take some dry atta and start rolling the dough I like my parathas to be like stuffed completely like bahut zyada stuffing mujhe pasand hai So now I'm just going to press it little bit and seal it completely So we need to be little careful while uh, rolling this because I have like put in a good amount of stuffing so there are possibilities that it will come out so very gently i need to roll this so this is perfectly done now i am going to place it on the hot tawa I'm going to dazzle one or two teaspoon of oil on it and cook perfectly and evenly on both the sides. And to go with it, I already have chana curry and raita which I made at the lunch time. And the combination of paneer paratha with chana curry is really amazing. You guys need to try this. So yes, with that my dinner is also ready. So yes this is it in today's video I hope you guys like the video if you like it please give it a big thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video bye bye